Well, we take a look at our Fryhofer sky cam on this Monday night in Schenectady. 34 degrees there, and I know you see the precipitation, 0.65. A lot of that fell just after midnight last night. Last night, the story was the rain. Tonight, it's the cold air, and that's actually going to be the story over the next several days. We're down to 35 in Albany, 32 in Hudson, 27 currently in Halcote, 28 in Lake Pleasant. Some of these locations are seeing a few snow showers this evening and some gusty winds associated with some of those snow showers. Winds 20 to even 30 miles an hour west of the capital region. The winds are definitely calmer right here in the capital region itself. So winds are coming out of the west and this plus the cold air is a prime setup for lake effect snow and that's exactly what we have this evening. We have some bands just south of Buffalo and more relevant to us some bands coming off Lake Ontario. In fact one really steady band is continuing to set up around here closer to home with just a few snow showers coming off the lakes but that band off towards the north will slide off towards the south which means Herkimer Hamilton and portions of Fulton County will get into some steady snow that will take place during the day tomorrow there's that band starts from north of Route 28 and then it drifts off towards the south during the afternoon tomorrow all the while we're very cool gusty winds so these temperatures that are in the mid 30s are going to feel more like the low 20s Bands continue. A few of these can get into the capital region. Really not too concerned about accumulation around here, but off towards the north and west. Several inches of snow is certainly possible out of this persistent lake effect snow event. Finally, though, tomorrow night into Wednesday, the winds are going to shift out of the southwest, and that's basically going to shut off any sort of lake effect. So come Wednesday, maybe a bit more sun around, and it will make temperatures that are in the mid-30s once again feel a bit more manageable as winds are also going to decrease. But winds are going to be gusty tomorrow. 30 to 35 miles an hour during the afternoon. So again, temperatures in the thermometer may read the low to mid 30s, but here in the capital region, it's going to feel like the low 20s, even the teens all day long. And areas off towards the north up in the Adirondacks may struggle to feel any warmer than 10 to 15 degrees. Again, speaking of the snow, we have some lake effect snow warnings over northern Herkimer, parts of Hamilton County, and here's what we're looking at in terms of accumulation. So really not much across portions of the Hudson Valley. Could get some upsloping over portions of the Berkshires and the Greens, but it's off towards the west. That's going to have the jackpot totals. Northern Herkimer into Hamilton County, upwards of 12 to 16 inches and closer to Lake Ontario, locally two plus feet of snow over portions of the Tug Hill Plateau. It's short-lived, though, this cold snap, because 30s feeling like 20s are going to be a thing of the past come Thursday and Friday. As we turn from November to December, numbers climb back into the 40s. So in terms of this evening, dropping down to the mid to upper 20s, cold and breezy, lake effect snow off towards the west. But during the day tomorrow, some of those bands can get into our area, mainly in the form of some light snow showers. But if you go into western portions of the Mohawk Valley and the Adirondacks, could be some substantial snow totals in those locations tomorrow tomorrow night low 20s low to mid 20s and then by Wednesday a bit more sun around still quite cool mid to upper 30s so here's our seven day forecast temperatures climbing back into the 40s it's rain Friday night into Saturday and we're set up for a fairly tranquil weekend